Raider Nation, what's the deal, man? Once again, it's your guy, Panama Fargo. Back to y'all live with another episode of the Raider Rundown. Make sure y'all keep tapping on that like and subscribe button, man. Y'all not going to miss all the updates and huge news I got dropping pertaining to the Las Vegas Raiders and their draft position, man. Draft coming up next Thursday. Make sure y'all share out the content, man. Hey, your friends, come check out what the fuck we got going on over here, man. Y'all not going to miss none of the content. And like I said, man, keep liking, keep subscribing. So, topic of conversation today, man. Huge news pertaining to what the Las Vegas Raiders want to do in the draft, man. It seems like they are more willing and ready to trade down and move down in this NFL draft, man. So, I, I want to talk about some of the reports that came out yesterday, man, and why I think that is more of a possibility going forward. Now, I, I got this information from a guy, Raiders.Scout, right? You know, uh, he's on social media. He's on Twitter. He posts a lot of stuff on there on his Instagram page as well. But most of his sources and, and most of his news is very credible, very true, man. I trust a lot of things that he does end up putting out. So he he put out a post yesterday saying that the Raiders, you know what? What am I saying? Check it out. So right now, now you watching, you seeing that post, right? Now, this is in line with a lot of other reports that has been coming out over the offseason. If you guys have been paying attention, a lot of people have been hinting at the Raiders wanting to trade down if they don't like the prospects that are available to them at pick number seven. OK, now what I think that means, me personally, I think that means if Bryce Young or CJ Stroud are somewhat not in the realm of what the uh, what the Raiders are going to pick or where they're going to be picking. They just feel like it's better value to trade down, gain and acquire more capital. You feel what I'm saying? And then from there, we we pick the selection that we traded down for, whatever, whoever that is, right? That's what I'm thinking is probably the Raiders' number one plan. The Raiders' number one plan is to get CJ Stroud or Bryce Young. But if those two are not obtainable and available, they will trade down. Let the board fall to them, man, and acquire more picks and assets to still build this defense. Let's keep, let's keep this in mind, man. If y'all been in tune with my channel since I started this motherfucker, all I've been talking about, how the Las Vegas Raiders are sitting here waiting for this 2023 NFL draft to build this defense with young players and players they already acquired from last year and are developing, and that's going to be the core of your defense this year. Next year, we're going to fill those holes with big ticket free agents, right? But it is all contingent on the Raiders knocking this fucking draft out the park. They have to knock this draft out the park. No ifs, ands, or buts. There can be no excuses. They have to do this right. So, like we've been talking about all offseason, this defense is real contingent on this draft being very good. OK, and I feel like Ziegler and the rest of this coaching staff, right, especially Patrick Graham, know that in order to compete in the AFC West, man, our defense has to start getting to the quarterback and taking the ball away. OK, that's the number two things that you have to do as a defense, bro, to me. And th those are two things we haven't been proficient in doing in very, very many years, bro. We have not been good at doing that. So. They are trying to stockpile players that can do those two things and play with some toughness, man, at the end of the day and fit the scheme that they have in place. OK, this this coaching staff seems to love guys that can fit the scheme, play fast mentally and on the field, man. And these are the guys that they are looking for. OK, they have a certain build, certain mold that they're looking for. So it doesn't surprise me at all that the Raiders are looking to trade down and acquire more picks because at the end of the day, more picks equals more players to add to this defense, okay? Also, there are reports that the Raiders may not be high on certain other quarterbacks other than C.J. Stroud, other than Bryce Young. I feel like personally it's got a little murky over the past couple weeks. I mean, over the, yeah, you know, like we looking at it, right? We all know that the Raiders love C.J. Stroud, love Bryce Young, but after that, it gets a little cloudy, okay? We don't really know. I mean, we can speculate. Me, personally, I feel like Anthony Richardson will be third on the list, but that's my personal speculation. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's my personal belief, my personal preference. But at the end of the day, the Raiders could have a totally different board and a totally different mindset on what they're thinking as far as quarterbacks. 
CJ Stroud, you know, Bryce Young, 1A, 1B, 1, 2, whatever you want to put them on their board. But who's three, right? Who is three? Is it Will Levis? Is it Anthony Richardson? Or is it Hendon Hooker? You know what I mean? We don't know. And if, just let's just put it up, if Hendon Hooker is three on their board, and the consensus around the league, around everybody, around Hendon Hooker, is that he's probably going to go early second round, late first round, right? Okay, now think about this. If we were to trade down, acquire more picks, would it not make it easier for the Raiders to then trade back into the first round and grab Hendon Hooker? Question marks, man. And, and then if you if you were to do that, right? Who are you going to trade down with? We all know there is one very likely candidate that everybody should keep in mind. And it's not a fucking surprise. Keep the New England Patriots in mind. I mean, of course, bro. Like, you have to think about it. The New England connection is always going to be there for this regime. They're always going to go back to that. Always going to be tied to that. So, at the end of the day, you got to keep that in mind, man. Friends help friends. And, of course, they'll, they'll you know, try to help each other in the draft if the Patriots want to move up to select a certain player or the Raiders feel like they want to move down for picks. Also, keep in mind all the other Patriot connections around the league. Just off the top of my head, I'm thinking of the Titans with Mike Vrabel. There's a Patriot connection right there. You can go from 7 to 11, okay? If you were, this is more of a trade-up option, but if you wanted to trade up, there are Patriot ties and very, very well-connected ties with the Houston Texans GM and D Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler. They all went to the same college together. So got to think about that, right? There are a lot of scenarios that can go on and, and that are in play for the Raiders. But if we look at it from a business standpoint, yeah, I mean, all of us want to trade up to acquire the Bryce Youngs or the CJ Stroud. But how likely is that? Let's really think about it. How likely and what's the percentage of us, you know, trading up to grab them guys and think about the capital we're going to have to give up. Now... With the position this team is in, if we were able to trade down, acquire more picks, and still grab a very good prospect in this first round, still grab a guy that can start day one and give you immediate production, it's not a loss, bro. Not a loss at all. Grab as many picks as you can. You never know how the board will fall. That's the next thing. If you grab as many picks as you can, you never know how the board's going to fall. You never know what prospects are going to fall, bro. So... Just stockpiling more picks give you more ammunition to say, fuck it, we want to trade up for a prospect or something like that. You know what I mean? It's just it's just more ammunition in your back pocket. So think about this, man. We have heard many conflicting reports, but the one constant has been the Raiders will not be tripping if they have to move down. I have to say that's been the one constant in this whole offseason that the Raiders are considering moving down and won't trip if they have to okay like i've been saying they're very fluid in their draft position i mean shit you can see it in the top 30 visits and who they was visiting with you know while they was allowed to visit with these prospects you can see they're very fluid in this nfl draft plan you feel what i'm saying they're very fluid on what they want to do they can either trade up if they want to and they feel like they want to do it but trading down uh, they ain't tripping about that either i mean we can stay pat and, and stand pat and see what we grab from there but i just think it, it's smarter if you're gonna stay at seven to probably go back get some more picks man and if we want to trade up for a prospect that we didn't know was gonna fall or whatever the nfl draft is the best reality show on television bro i swear to god so i i cannot wait to see what happens man i can't wait to see what the raiders do i don't i don't think they make a move until draft day for real so let's wait let's see but man Make sure you guys keep liking, keep subscribing. We are almost at 500 subscribers, bro. I am going to reveal the giveaway at 400 subscribers. So please keep subscribing. I, I know I ain't dropping frequently this week, man, but I'm taking the time with the slow news week to not just drop bullshit, man, and, and get to working on what I need to work on for this content. So keep commenting down below how I can get better at these videos, man, how I can make it more entertaining for y'all, man. And I'm going to work on doing that. So remember, keep biking, keep subscribing, share the content out. And remember, I always keep it authentic from the clouds to the ground on the Raider Rundown.